Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm here with Helene and today the Matinee Club presents The Butler. The Butler was directed by Lee Daniels who brought us Precious in 2009 uh, and it's based loosely on a true story. It stars Forrest Whitaker and Oprah Winfrey and it's the story of evolving race relations um, and black identity in our country seen through the eyes and the experiences of one man, Cecil Gaines, um, who is, began his life on a southern cotton form, farm in the 1920s and ends up working in the White House as a butler and serves eight presidential administrations and ends up, in the end, going attending the um, inauguration of Barack Obama. Yeah, I, I thought it was a really feel good story. Um, I really liked how, I liked how they did it. I mean, it was it was very loosely based on his life. I mean, the the real life um, the real life butler is Eugene Allen, and actually his wife was named Helene. And oh, they, yeah, they don't have that in the movie. <laughs> but um, and she died the day before. Um, the election, so he went to the polls alone to vote for Obama. They were planning on going together. But um, I did think it was like a, a historical voyage through the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. You know, it was really, it was interesting. I think it would be great for kids to see because it is a retelling of civil rights and, yeah. and history. And um, I thought Forrest Whitaker was terrific. And I loved Oprah in this movie. I thought she was. I agree. Really they they both were very good. And and I I thought the movie. I agree with you that it's it would be great for anyone to see. It's an important subject, and it can be retold and retold a million mm -hmm. times. Um, this movie was a little gimmicky. Um, you know, at times it it feels a little bit cartoonish. You know, with especially when they the cameos. They've got all these cameos with these the famous presidents. people playing, you know, Robin Williams as Eisenhower, John Cusack as Nixon, right. uh, Leif Schreiber, Alan Rickman, Jane Fonda as Nancy Reagan. And while it's s sort of fun, it is fun. It is fun. But it's also really gimmicky and it's a little distracting. And the audience, the Matinee Club audience, would, would laugh every time a new, you know, a cameo guy came, right. yeah, 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 <laughs> came yeah. in. Because some of them were some of them were a little hokier than others. Yes. Yeah. And the other thing that they kept laughing at was, Oprah's changing outfits through the decades. You know, I she'd have the, the jumpsuit and the big fro in the right. 70s, and then she had the, they were both wearing track suits in the <laughs> 80s. You know, everyone was laughing at that. I, I did. It was really great, and they did have a really loving, special relationship. You know, she was, she was, she grew to, she was a very dedicated wife. She was bored there for a while because, you know, he was always working at the White House. Yeah. And what do you, you know? <laughs> but he, he, he earned a great living, and he, you know, put two sons through college, and um, and he really does have Kennedy, Jeff Kennedy's tie. Um, that Jacqueline gave that to him. Oh, that was so. Nice. That was in the movie, and that's actually yeah. true. It's it's a little hokey, and because there's it's so ambitious, and they have so much history to cover in the in the short film. They have to stick a lot of stuff in there. I mean, his a son, lot of stuff. His son, you know, becomes a, a free, what a freedom ride, rider, freedom rider, a Black Panther. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's basically with, in every club. He's with Martin Luther King Jr. when he shot. <laughs> yeah, he's right. everywhere. Yeah, it's a little Forrest Gump like in yeah. that way. Yeah. Um, but you know, I don't know how you could not be moved by the story. Right. And and women around me were weeping in the hmm. film. I didn't weep. I did love seeing that like inner workings of the White House, like the behind the scenes in the kitchen. You know, yes. like I yeah. just thought that yeah. was interesting. It was beautifully filmed. Yeah. So really how many was. kernels would you give it? I would give it three. I, I thought it was you know, it was entertaining, it was good acting, it was it was a feel good movie. Um, yeah, I liked it. I'm gonna give it four because I thought um, it was very entertaining and cleverly put together and, uh, and because it's such an important and fascinating topic. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week with another review. And if you're interested, please visit our website, which is on the screen, and we look forward to seeing you again.